Trend Synth, where AI meets insight. Today, we're going to talk about a tool from Google that is not just another AI chatbot. Nope, this is something totally different. It's designed to be your own personal research assistant, one that works only with your documents to help you find connections and ideas you might have otherwise missed. You know that feeling, right? We've all been there. It doesn't matter if you're a student, a researcher, or a writer. You've got this absolute mountain of documents, and just trying to make sense of it all feels, well, completely overwhelming. I mean, think about the old way of doing things. Tackling, say, a 50-paper literature review was this monumental task. You'd have to open up them one by one, reading, highlighting, trying to manually piece it all together in your head. It's such a grind, a process that could easily eat up weeks, if not months. Well, Notebook LM is basically the answer to that exact problem. The way to think about it is not as some general all-knowing AI, but as a super specialized personal research assistant that works exclusively with the information you give it. Okay, so let's really dig into this because this is the most important idea to get. You know, a generic AI, it pulls its answers from the entire messy, wild internet. And that's why it can hallucinate, you know, just make stuff up. Notebook LM is completely different. It's what's called a grounded AI. Its entire universe of knowledge is strictly limited to the documents you upload. No outside data means, well, no hallucinations. It's that simple. And this quote just hits the nail on the head. You are literally building the AI's brain. It becomes an expert, but it's only an expert on the material you provide. And that's what makes it such a trustworthy partner for your research. So how do you actually build this personalized brain? Well, it all starts, of course, with feeding it your sources. And let's talk about capacity. You can upload up to 50 different sources into a single project, what they call a notebook. And honestly, that is more than enough to handle a really serious literature review, a huge collection of meeting notes, or even chapters of a book you're trying to analyze. And the flexibility in what you can upload is just incredible. We're talking your standard PDFs and Google Docs, sure, but also direct web links, transcripts from YouTube videos, and get this, even audio files from meetings or voice memos you recorded on your phone. Now, this builds into a seriously powerful workflow, especially if you read a lot of books. The co-founder, Steven Johnson, actually laid this out. So as you read, you just highlight the key passages. Then you use a tool like Readwise to pull all those highlights into one master Google Doc. And here's the crucial part. That export includes metadata, like the author and page number for every single quote. You upload that one file and boom, your entire reading history is now a searchable, interactive source. Okay, so once your sources are all loaded up, this is where the real magic begins. This is the point where you stop just managing documents and you actually start having a conversation with them. So instead of reading those 50 papers one after the other, you can just ask a single complex question. Notebook LM then reads, synthesizes, and builds an answer for you based on all of them all at once. It literally connects the dots for you across your entire knowledge base. And you can ask these incredibly specific, really technical questions. Like a material scientist could upload 16 recent papers and ask exactly this. The AI will then scan every single one of those documents to pull out the relevant bits and give you a consolidated summary. And here is the absolute best part, the trust factor. Every single statement the AI makes is backed up with these little inline citations. You see a number, you click it, and you are instantly taken to the exact paragraph in the original source document where it found that piece of information. It's fantastic. But this thing isn't just a fancy search tool. Notebook LM is really designed to help you generate brand new ideas and formats from the material you've already put in there. With literally a single click, you can completely transform your sources. You need to check if you actually understood those lecture notes. Bam! Generate a study guide. Prepping for a big meeting? Click. Create a briefing doc. You need a quick history of events from your sources? Done. Generate a timeline. It's all about reimagining your information in whatever way is most useful right now. Now here's where it gets really, really interesting. What if you could find, I don't know, maybe 10 new research ideas in just a couple of minutes? Well, that's the power we're talking about with this next feature. This might be one of its most powerful features. You can actually ask Notebook LM, based on everything I've given you, what's missing? Where are the research gaps? It then analyzes all of that collective knowledge and points you towards what could be your next big project. I mean, work that used to take months of painstaking analysis can now be done in minutes. It's just wild.
Notebook LM also has some more experimental features like something called the audio overview. It literally generates a two-person podcast conversation discussing your documents. Now, some users have said the tone can be a little overly cheerful, a little kitsch maybe. But the really cool part is that it's interactive. You can interrupt the conversation at any point and ask your own follow-up questions with your voice. So when you put all of these features together, you really start to see a fundamental shift in how knowledge work, well, how it can get done. You know, the big takeaway here is this. Tools like Notebook LM automate all that tedious work of just finding and organizing information. And what that does is it frees up our brain power to focus on what we humans do best, asking the right questions, spotting those novel connections, and generating real true insight. This quote from the co-founder really just sums it all up. We are moving into an era where our personal libraries, our notes, all our source material, they're not just static archives anymore. They're becoming dynamic, conversational partners in the process of discovery itself. And so that leaves us with this really fascinating question to think about. When you have an assistant that has perfectly memorized every single source you've ever given it and can synthesize it all on command, how does that change the way we think, the way we create, and the way we discover? The landscape is changing so fast, and honestly, the possibilities are just beginning. 